Hey guys, we are, you know, surveying the area from the sky this morning. The one thing I can tell you, if you're coming to work, do not take I-35 northbound. Northbound I-35 is backed up way past Norman. Find an alternate route to work this morning. Give these guys some relief out here. Uh, southbound is backing up just a little bit, but it's flowing. We've been watching the relief efforts over here, and uh, they're bringing in some more equipment and stuff this morning, trying to get things kind of under control. And, uh, and like you guys were saying earlier, just give them a break. Let them do their job. Be patient. And uh, just, just keep the Oklahoma Standard, or you talked about the Oklahoma Standard. How about the Oklahoma Resolve? These people can build and go on from here. Reporting live from Bob Mills, Sky News 9. It is quiet. We've seen that heavy equipment Rusty was talking about earlier that they were moving in. Uh, but most of uh, it's just uh, picking through the rubble, and there's no really a lot of movement anywhere. Uh, even, even around the, the school here we've been watching, there's li very little movement, just bringing in a little bit of equipment, moving men around and, and women. But uh, no real big efforts going on at this time. Back to you guys. Yeah, Sunny Lane is blocked off. Looks like it's blocked off at, at 19th and 4th. I wouldn't take Sunny Lane, maybe hop over to Eastern. I-44 is flowing really, really smooth. Uh, I-35 is a no-go from uh, south, southbound. I-35 is flowing real well. Northbound is backed up past Norman. But uh, pick another route besides Sunny Lane, maybe even hop over to Sooner. That looks pretty clear. What was Greg saying? Yeah, that is uh, I-35, and uh, northbound, uh, like I said, it's a standstill. I don't, it's, not, it's not clearing up until you get past uh, maybe 44th Street. Uh, southbound starting to back up, and it's backing up back toward 44th Street. I if at all possible, don't use I-35. Hop over to Sooner Road or something and come in that way. Uh, I-44 is pretty clear. If you're coming up I-44, it's flowing pretty good. 
but if you can avoid I-35, they have all those exits shut down coming through more, and, and it's just a mess right now, Tammy. Uh, I've just seen Air One this morning. Uh, that's all I've seen as far as law enforcement and rescue efforts. They're the only ones out there this morning. They have us way up above everything. Uh, we're up actually about 4,300 feet right now. That's why I can see all the traffic flowing. But uh, the only active aircraft I've seen down there this morning is Air One from Oklahoma City Police Department. DJ has been picking up a real good picture from up here. The camera's working really well, and he can zoom right in, and we can see what's going on. And, and so far, I haven't seen any search dogs, per se. They may have given them a rest. Those dogs get tired and wear out a little bit. They may let them rest a little bit and then get them going here in a little bit when the wind picks up. But uh, as far as search dogs, we haven't seen a whole lot of that going on either, Tammy. back up here for Yeah, Tammy, this thing, I can see all the way back uh, just to the north part of Newcastle where this thing sit down, and it run all the way across to uh, Draper Lake. It just ends right before that. And you can just see a, a, it's a mud trail, a swath, if you will, that just came through here, and uh, y you can just track it all the way back to north of uh, uh, Newcastle where it sat down, Tammy, just south of the river. We sure can. We'll head down that way, and we'll hook you up and, and holler at you when we have that shot for you. No, we can. Uh, we'll turn, and um, if DJ will swing the camera around here to the left, we'll pick it up, and, and we'll follow it down to Newcastle, and then we'll come back and uh, follow it back up toward Lake Draper. I'm going to have to get permission from Air Control, so I'll get right back with you. DJ, if you'll go left, buddy, we'll get... Oaksey approach, News 9. 